Hello everyone. Welcome to Cat's Cottage. I'm gonna make some cranberry orange muffins. And this is the mix I'm gonna use. Right here. Uh, the directions are all on the back. But I'm going to um, mix up some of these because I always try to keep some in my uh, cake plate. Okay. It has the cranberries, I mean, the, yeah, the cranberries in it in a can. So, pretty simple. Okay, this is, it says a half a cup of oil. The oil is just uh, your cooking oil. I wouldn't use uh, olive oil or anything like that. And then a half a cup of water. Okay. Two eggs. One of my quiet spoons, one of my nice bamboo uh, chef's choice, uh, pamper chef, that's it, from the uh, thrift store for two dollars. I don't use all, of, I, I have all those blenders. I have all those mixers, but I don't use them because I hate cleaning the stuff up, really. Here we go. Okay. Now, let me get the can opener. And I do have my oven on already. It's on 400. I'll probably bring it down after I put these in. can opener. I just don't want to fool with it on the counter. And I ain't got enough room. Okay, that looks pretty nice. They're all chopped up. Okay, so um, this says it's cranberry orange muffin mix. So, I'm going to put some more orange in it. Not a lot, but I'm going to put some. That's what they mean by orange. They mean orange peel. Orange, they call it zest. But it's peel is what it is. little strainer. Okay, 
interesting and maybe that'll take the orange off of there. When you put fruit in, you don't just stir it, stir it, stir it till you tear it all up. That's enough stirring. And then we'll get one of these fat uh, soup spoons. And just, just uh, when I was young, I worried so much about the measurement of the spoon and all that, and, and was I going over or anything? Just put some in. Just get it in there. And if you get it on the pan, take your finger and a spoon or whatever and scoop it off. It's not a big deal. You don't have to measure halfway. Just get it in the paper. And I do have, I always use these because I hate cleaning these little muffin trays out. I get a big glob and then a little glob to top it off. Everybody wants the nice formed muffin. They don't want one halfway little muffin. Unless you make them all little. These things like this, these little things like this, and it don't have to be this little one. It can be one wider and flatter. It looks like a little popsicle, but uh, you can scrape out these plastic bowls so much nicer. See how that scrapes out? Those clocks are all set to go off at a different time so they won't be crazy. And there's just a few minutes between each alarm. into the oven now I turn the oven down to um, 375 and whenever, um, I always use the toothpick to uh, test them. Put the toothpick in there. If it comes out clean, it's good to go. It's ready. But if you put it in there and it pull it out and it's got some sticky on it, some of the dough and some of the 
muffin, it's not quite ready. So, anyway, I'm on, uh, uh, let's see, that's going to take, I'm going to walk around a little bit and see if I can kill some time. Okay, there's my mess. Okay. Let's see here. Let me see. I'll start in the kitchen, then I'll move out from here. Okay. This is the top of the ceiling. Friends are always welcome. And straight down is a rack for hot pads. Love hot pads. I've made them as a child, you know, at school projects. And um, I just like them. Next row of hooks is just a little bit of everything from the kitchen. And then lastly down here, I just put this up. This is a, a seasoning rack, which not really holding anything. I'm going to have to do better than that. And then up here, there's some plates and some more kitchen stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, and then over here is clips. And that this is my grocery list board. I did with just chalk paint. And inside there is where I keep my vacuum cleaner. I guess I'll show you the vacuum cleaner. I'll keep my vacuum cleaner brooms and all that. And these are big jars for sugar, tea, cornmeal, and then there's uh, the wrap, and then there's some new pots and pans. Okay. And over here is, you'll see I use every inch there is to put junk on the walls. This right here. That's my little sweetheart. That's me with uh, Millie and Zoe. We're making cookies. They're grown ladies now. Um, and going to school and work. And okay. This cabinet here is just full of, what's it full of? Tea and some new pots. This is full of breakfast cereals up there. And I figured out what this was. This is not a, not biscuit cutters. That's a hamburger press, of all things, yeah. I thought it was, I picked it up with my cutters, because I, the cookie cutters, because I thought that was cookie or biscuit, which I have owned and may still have. But anyway, here's the top of the stove. There's my new coffee pot I love. Used it this morning. Wonderful coffee. Okay, dishes in these two cabinets. You know, bowls and plates. And this is my old coffee hangout, which I don't know how long I'll keep that. Okay, a messy kitchen is a sign of a good meal, I guess. Okay, that's where I keep more clips on my lamp. Okay, no dirty dishes. Uh, this is a makeshift shade. I don't know where the shade went to my lamp. So I stuck one of those on it. And the microwave. And this cabinet's full of glasses that I don't use. Because I'm right now I'm drinking out of these jars. And junk on this side of the fridge. Little card I got from Ikea quite a few years ago and I cut fruit on it. A uh, mirror stuck on the refrigerator. A little coupon clip section. And clock and signs. I like signs. And just junk up here. I like shape and form and color. I like red in the kitchen. I don't wear much red, but I like it in the kitchen. Cat's Kitchen, my daughter gave me that. And uh, here's my bread box I got from the garbage, dump, dumpster diving. Uh, 
It was made by some Mormons. I got a bunch of Mormon stuff. I mean, I know it was there, so. There's my sitting stool. Here's my rug I got from Salvation Army. And all these curtains, uh, they're just kitchen towels that I've put on a rod. Uh, I got, I kept painting for years. My cabinets over and over and over and got tired of it. I put these little hooks that go in and hold the rod right there. And I got three of them on there. And I just sewed all ends and ups and downs of my old kitchen towels. Okay, that's about the extent of this little kitchen. Okay, we'll just go through. And this is my old video TV. I do have some vid some videos left. Next is my potato chip box, corn box. And out here is a balcony. It goes all the way down the house, around the house. I haven't cleaned it yet, so I don't go out there. But I keep saying that every time, but I am going to clean it. And this is groceries. You know, I don't have a, pan a pantry, really. And this side here is groceries. And then I've got uh, some plates up here. And two rabbits holding two plants. Uh, let's see, where can I go? I have lights. I have lights above most of my windows. They just stay on all the time. And this is a cabinet I've had forever. And I've put two golden angels on it. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I'm, I don't know what I'm doing to it. Okay, more lights above the, the, uh, and my table is just a simply a little round table. And I have these chairs here that you can, you can actually rock. And these cushions I ordered through the internet. They're, they stick, they don't move. So they're pretty cool to put in a seat. And I have two IKEA lights, a paper lights on each side of my little television over here. And then um, just got this curio cabinet, you know, recently, and that little clock. And these are all my old people. This is where they're living. They're living down in here. Okay, now I, I don't know why people want to see what's on my walls. They want to see what's on my walls, and I, I record it over and over again. They just need to look at the old, older videos. And I might not be talking about the walls, but you can see the walls. Um, anyway, these are all uh, Van Goghs that I copied. Well, they're not all Van Goghs. Let me walk over here around this way. Around this little rocking chair, I just got this at the um, Salvation Army. And I've got these chairs a long time ago, brand new, in the sofa, and the second chair, and a state sale. They were just, just had been bought. Okay, anyway, getting back to the, to the walls. That's a Van Gogh, vase full of flowers. This is a Van Gogh, the olive orchard. Um, okay, I, I copied all those. Um, okay, that came from a state sale. This cabinet came from an antique shop, and we're talking 20 years ago, 30 years ago. This came from Etsy. Uh, it matches the other lady. Okay, uh, that's an estate sale. That's a souvenir from uh, St. Peter's, that's St. Catherine, and I bought it from the lady at the estate sale. Uh, that's a state sale. Uh, these, I made a load of these when I was about 16 years old, 17 years old. And uh, 
I sold them everywhere in Memphis, and um, there's one of them. Anyway, I touched it up because it was showing its age. Um, let's take the sale. Uh, let's see. Move on down. That's a Van Gogh. Uh, that is a, right here, is a calendar that I've stuck in a frame. And this is a Monet from his garden. Uh, Da Vinci, I believe that's the way it's say, said. I'm not sure. But I only copied one of his because it was extremely hard. Very hard. And when I do a copy, I copy every stroke. So I say his was really hard to get every stroke. And then, of course, this big old huge shade. You know, my best friend told me to throw that shade away and get a real shade, but this is a cap of Monte right there. I bought that at state sale. And uh, this is a tea cabinet my daughter gave me years ago. And this painting right here, when I was a little girl, about 10 years old, went to a museum in Houston. I saw this in there and I said, Lord, if I could just paint that, that'd be enough. And I, sure enough, I painted it, and that's all I got. Should have asked for more. These are curtains that came from the Salvation Army. They seem to be new, so I got those. I put them up just to brighten up for the summer. Uh, there's an Ikea uh, fox fur. Here's more Salvation Army pillows that were light in color. I took the dark ones out. Um, these little tables, I got those at a state sale. I've changed out a couple of times. These brass lamps there, not the shade, but the brass lamps. My daughter gave me those. She had them in her uh, first uh, workplace. And they were remodeling and moving, so she gave them to me. The pictures behind are Van Gogh's. The pool hall, the, the joint, the woman in the picture owns the place, and they seem to be all drunk laying over the tables. Anyway, this is another flower with vase, I mean a vase with flowers, a Van Gogh's. Okay, that's some stuff I had and some stuff from the thrift store, thrift store flowers, thrift store vase right there. And then I've got books. I read a lot of books. I like books on, mostly on information. Okay, I'm gonna walk back this way. I'm waiting on the muffins. Okay, here's some stuff on the walls. There's my water bulbs that I'm not using right now. I took all my plants outside. Uh, saved their life, took them outside. And this is my last, uh, well, this might be my first. Oh, the first was the one downstairs, and this is my, this is my second, and the one over there is my third. I think I could just keep putting these curio cabinets in here. You can't seem to get enough of them. Everything you're looking at, I don't know how you like it, but, you can do this too. You can, if you like it, you can go to the state sales, carport sales, thrift stores, and buy stuff you like and put it up. Um, this is those cookie cutters. Got them, uh, I'm gonna open this door. Got them ready to go if I ever make cookies. Ooh, I smell those cookies, too. Let me take a step in here. Well, I'm not making cookies. The muffins. Not quite. Man, do they smell good. Okay. Now, I'm coming down. This is some tapestries I had for some time. I just got them out, unrolled them, and put them on the wall. And no use of having them if you're not going to look at them. 
And this is a, a large picture that I made. Um, don't paint large pictures or buy them because you got to have a place to put them. Now, there's an interesting story about a cougar and his eyes. Uh, if he is young, he has blue eyes. If he has gotten an older, he has his eyes turned green. That's just an alarm you hear. Okay. And this is a Van Gogh there. Uh, in the olive orchard, the women are picking olives. I think I've got two of these. And this is uh, this is uh, some of those um, waterfowl. They were looking. This is their baby, and they were looking for their baby. That's that's my that's my story. And they found it sitting in a a tree. Sun's going down. So uh, anyway, that's the story. Okay, I'm still standing on the stairs. Here's some. Okay. That is thrift store. This is a picture I painted when I thought I couldn't paint anymore. It's been so long, so many years. I painted this one from an Alexander book. And I thought, well, you know what? I can do this, so. I've stopped at different times in my life, quit with painting, and then I picked it back up. There's the second olive picking. Um, and this one here is by another artist. It's an ink of some mules, which is really nice. And then I have a lot of books along here, a lot of cooking books. Okay. Okay, shut the door. Behind the door is a ram, a shelf, some junk. And here's a Van Gogh uh, night cafe. Um, yeah, I painted that some time back. Let's see if it has a date. 2001. Yeah, okay. And okay. And right here, this is a hand stitch. I got this at a state sale. Um, someone did those X stitches to put this together, which didn't cost very much, a couple of dollars, and it's very pretty. So I framed it out, got a frame at Hobby Lobby, and framed it out. And now these came from... Uh, Salvation Army. There are two rabbits, which is really cool. Okay. And this is a little picture. Welcome to our home, Tennessee home. And these are just plates on the wall. I don't know what their value is. I just like them because they're blue. And this here on the wall, <clears throat> I got it Home Depot. It's a, it's a sticky, self-sticking, uh, what am I trying to say? Wallpaper? Vinyl? Anyway, <clears throat> if you decide to do this stuff, if you decide to do this stuff, um, cut it in sections. Don't try to do like I do. Roll it all out and put it up there. Just cut it in, in little sections and match it, you know. Okay. Now... I'm going to turn this way, and this all come from the Salvation Army, all these three pictures here. Um, this one, uh, this is my home, I did this, I, don't, I can't, get, can't get words out of my mouth. Um, what is the date on that? It looks to be 
The date date is 96? 90. Yeah, 96. No, I can't tell. What did I say? Okay, it's under the frame. I can't tell. And I'm just trying to kill time. Oh. Okay. And then here's two more pictures I got recently. And this sign. And this rug I got at the Salvation Army. And actually, this table set. Okay. Just about in this seat here. Uh, a neighbor. She was going into a home. So she uh, told me to come over and get her husband's chair since he had passed and she couldn't take it with her. Okay, the noise you hear in the background, don't pay attention to that. Okay, and this is a fake fireplace with an electric, electric uh, heater. Uh, this is state sales sofa. Okay, I think I'm getting close to the time. I need to go upstairs and check that. Uh, this is a clock my husband gave me as an anniversary present. And this is um, the blue curio, Christmas curio cabinet. I think I'm going to have to make a quick trip upstairs and check the muffins. Okay, this is a cabinet I have down here, and it's full of 30 years of marriage junk in there. Okay, this is a deer that I got over there. It's a mule deer uh, print that I got over there recently. This is uh, ducks, mallards that I painted. I had some canvas left over, didn't know what to do with it, so I made a long strip and painted some ducks, some mallards. And the year on that is 2002. Yeah. Okay. And Mama Duck is wearing that wood duck out. We're getting close to her, all her little babies. Okay. And there's one that got scared and went over that way. And there's the male. He's not doing too, he's not very good protector. Okay. This is my big laundry there. It's just a hall. It's just a hallway. Okay, there's another bathroom there. And this is my husband's trophy room. Or office, let me say that. And we both have the same amount of trophies. He's just got all his displayed, or I displayed them. And mine were in boxes, most of them. They got wet. I had to throw a lot of them away. But anyway, I need to go upstairs. See, this is one of those split-level houses. It's not very big. Just a small house. And I'm going to open this door back. Open the door back and check the muffins. Ooh. Now, I remember these are light muffins. Let me go find a toothpick. Got one over here on the table. You have to excuse me if I'm making it blurred. toothpick. Okay, so nothing on that one, so I need to get those out. Okay. Don't pay any attention to my dirty oven. I always have a dirty oven. Always. I could clean it and it'd be dirty within a month. Those are pretty looking. Okay. Oh, 
All right. Those are done and smell wonderful. So I'm going to flip it goodbye. And thank you so much for, what can we call this, the muffin tour? <laughs> so, okay, bye-bye.